Uh, another thing we evolved into, two-pole motors are kind of a, their own beast. Um, they're 3,600 RPM at 60 hertz, two-pole, as fast as you can go at that, uh, with two poles at that frequency. And at that frequency and speed, everything is amplified. So mechanical tolerances have to be tighter. Things have to be handled differently so that the end result is a smooth running motor, not a vibration problem. So we're running with tighter tolerances, dimensional variances, things that wouldn't necessarily bother a four pole, an 1800 or a 12 pole or a 900 RPM, sorry, a 1200 RPM, six pole or an, an eight pole, you know, that kind of thing. These tolerances really matter to a two pole. So uh, something just to highlight, when we go to run a two pole, we put it on our test bed and we make sure we shim it and then we clamp it down. And when we clamp it down, we put a dial indicator on the foot and we make sure that we get no more than about a thousandth spring on the foot. If we get more than a thousandth, believe it or not, and I've seen it so many times over my career, even a thousandth, a little over a thousandth of an inch of movement distorts a frame, can cause vibration in a two pole, as crazy as that sounds. So they're very critical. Um, doing a full two hour run on incoming, um, performing in the lathe run out checks where you know, we do this with other motors as well, but zeroing in the journals and looking at that run out in reference to the bearing journals and identifying that that run out can't exceed more than uh, three thousandths on the rotor core, that's our standard, and a thousandth anywhere else on the shaft. If it does, it can induce vibration. It can cause out of balance that you, you can't pick up when you balance it. You pick it up at running at full speed. Uh, and it shows up, as Brad said. Out of roundness, another huge one we learned the hard way on. I'll leave it up to my dad to leave his phone. Um, <laughs> the uh, out of roundness of a journal, so critical on a two pole. You know, out around us, we're talking about measuring the journal here, measuring it here, and in this case, having it be within three tenths of a thousandth or less. Very small measurements that actually mean something in a two pole. It will cause vibration in a two pole if you're more than that. So we belabored that one. 